Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG meeting. Today is Thursday, April 20th. Um, on the agenda, I have GSOC update, quick CDCon update, anything that we should add. Okay, great. Okay, um, John Mark, I will let you take a lead from for the GSOC update. Right. So uh, we're reaching the end of the grading and uh, ranking of the proposals. So we had a, a big amount, as I said, I, I believe two weeks ago. We have a lot of proposals. Uh, and uh, the, the usual proportion of poor proposals and good proposals. The proposals have been uh, successfully uh, graded and the various teams, project teams are now uh, working on their ranking. In the beginning of next week, we'll have the global uh, org uh, uh, ranking. So all is working well. It will not be an, uh, a fun decision to uh, share because only a few will be selected uh, with a, a large number uh, of candidates. Especially there are some uh, good proposals and uh, motivated people and people that learned a lot about open source in uh, Jenkins. So we'll, we will not leave these people alone in the, in the call and say, well, okay, move on, uh, you're out of the game. No, they're, they're invested a lot, a lot uh, in it. Uh, the results will be officially shared uh, on uh, May 4th at uh, uh, 18 hours uh, UTC. And uh, we'll have also some uh, um, uh, social media uh, posts uh, confirming uh, that for our community. And the Friday we'll have an office hour dedicated uh, to that. Um, so we're making good progress, everything is good. And so we'll uh, looking to reach this important milestone of uh, beginning May to start the next chapter. The next chapter is starting the projects with the selected contributors and also setting up some goals or some activities for the people that want to continue with the community community and get prepared for another GSOC session. So Lisa, this is my update uh, on uh, Google Summer of Code. Great, thanks John Mark. And I also reached out to um, uh, Michelle at the Linux Foundation and to start the, the wheel turning for our um, Payoneer um, stipend process. So yeah. that's a work in progress and the deadline for that is May 11th. I'm so thankful that you deal with these kind of so, things. Thank you yeah. very much, Alyssa. So, for... so and, and uh, Alyssa, on the Payoneer process, that's the magical way that we got the, the $2,000 or so that was contributed last year by Google to the Jenkins project. Is that right? It was, yes. you're, you're using the same process as we used before. Right. Excellent. Right. Thank it you. worked well last year. Uh, nothing. I don't think anything has changed until Michelle tells me otherwise. But um, the Linux Foundation has all the information on the Pioneer. I don't have it, so it has to go through them. Which is perfect because the Linux Foundation is also the administrator of the Jenkins crowdfunding site where people do donations like where the donations from FOSDOM last year or in 2023 were, were placed. The, the amount that was donated there at FOSDOM to the Jenkins project was placed in by Bruno through that same site. Great. Okay, we are consistent. Thanks, Jean-Marc, for the update. 
Um, for CDCon, so that is coming up next for May 8th through the 9th in Vancouver, Canada. Um, originally, they were expecting about 200 people. Now I'm being told that they're expecting 400, or at least that's the amount of people that has registered. Um, so that's good news. I know that Mark, Alex Brandes, and Gavin Mogan will be in attendance, or Gavin will might be. But um, Tim Chacombe did have a session accepted at, um, at CDCon, but um, last I checked, he withdrew from speakings, probably because um, not being able to get um, money to attend the conference. So he withdrew, unfortunately. But Mark does have two speaking sessions, so congratulations, Mark. One is in the keynote session and another one is in a breakout session. And um, there's links there if anybody's interested in looking to it. But do you want to mention anything about that, Mark? No, just encourage people to attend. Uh, it's the graduated projects panel, I think, is the more important one because it's a chance for people to ask or to, to highlight what it means and what the benefits are to a project to go from CDF's initial state into a graduated state. And there are real benefits to the project. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have Thank a good you, one. Lisa. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.